Hi, it's journal time and I'm not happy. I'm gonna get my journal angrily. Angrily digging through my drawers right now. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad and I'm so greasy. I don't know why I'm so greasy, but I'm extremely greasy. But anyway, get your journal out. It's journal time. I'm not mad with you. Sorry, I'm not mad with you. Alexa, what's the date? Today is Sunday, August 7th. August 7th. I forgot to go to the farmer's market today. I don't have any damn fruits. Okay. Anyways, why am I frustrated? Why am I mad? You asked, you probably didn't. But because I forgot. Okay, remember in my last video I said I felt like I was being forgotten about? Yeah, well, because of that, I've forgot that was a reason why I don't really get hate that frequently anymore because I've kind of fallen off the map so I'm kind of like incognito again so no one really knows me and sees me but I've been recently getting a little bit more traction to my page funny enough right after I made that video I'm a little bit before too and I forgot that that comes with that is a lot of hate and people are starting to be mean to me again and I kind of forgot how to handle it um authenticity here can be real authentic i think it's kind of unfair that people that do social media are kind of expected to just deal with people just constantly being mean to them all day long um a typical day as an influencer online with millions of followers looks like you get called ugly all day you get called this all day when you're a black person you get called slurs all day um yeah it's not fun but I haven't dealt with that in a while because I haven't been on the map like that. Um, so I kind of forgot what it's like and when it's this frequent. So um, yeah, I'm kind of dealing with that again right now, but I've been trying to get myself to keep in mind, people that send you hate online don't matter. They don't matter. People telling you something versus hate, they're very different. Like somebody just, I don't know, telling me some information that maybe I don't wanna hear or just something remotely negative doesn't always necessarily equate as hate. People who leave hate, they don't matter. And I've been trying to like drill that into my own head, but it's easier said than done. It's easy to just be like, oh, hate doesn't mean anything, but it hurts. People being mean to you hurts. And then it's not like, hate comments aren't normally like one or two here or there. It's like a flood, like you get a bunch, like it's a lot on different videos at different times. It feels like it just never ends. Um, anyway, first world problems. Um, my journal. That wasn't even what I wanted to talk about today. That just was bothering me, but yeah. Oh, do you wanna know what prompted me to say this? I have been getting a lot of hate. This, this prompted me to bring it up, but this isn't what I was talking about. I've been getting hate separate from what I'm talking about. This I wouldn't consider hate. I think it was just rude. I was building a sim on Sims, right? And normally I'll be, if I'm being honest, um, I have no problem making sims of any body shape ever. I make all sorts of different sims. I will say, I think I find it hard to make sims that are built like me because I think it forces me to address a lot of my body image issues and I don't really wanna address them or think about them, especially on a live stream. So I don't really normally make Sims that look like me. Body-wise, I, for like, I guess information, I'll draw like kind of what I'm shaped like. Don't laugh at my drawing, I can't draw. So instead of having like an hourglass, I'm more like this. This is even hard to draw, looking at it. And then I have kind of broad shoulders. I feel like a, like a, yeah, so this one is kind of what people tend to like. Um, excuse me, that was my thyroid. This is kind of what I'm shaped like. I'm just kind of, I don't really have any curves. Oh, wait, I could have drawn that better. So there's curves and then there's me. So here we go. I'm very straight, I'm not very curvy. So I never, I think that my like body issues peak through when I make all my Sims have snatched a waist. It's a very toxic mindset. I'm trying to get myself out of it. I think it's me like trying to vicariously live through the Sims how I wish I looked. Um, I'm just being honest here. I'm really just being honest here. Um, so I normally don't make Sims that look like me because I don't wanna look at it and be like, 
ew, that looks like me. Um, but there's also nothing wrong with how I'm built. Um, it's okay to not have hips and not to have curves. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just have to believe it first. <laughs> but I think I think that's that can be something we really work on is our body. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I really want to address body image publicly with myself. I don't know. That one might take a while to work on, really. I've been dealing with that since I was a kid. Body image issues. It's kind of always been a problem. Anyways, that's, again, not what I wanted to talk about today. But anyway, so what had happened was, for the first time, somebody in my chat said, can you pull her, her waist out? Because her waist was, like, super snatched. And I was like, yeah, I'll pull her waist out. So I pulled it out, and I made her look just like me. And I was like, wait. She looks like me, but I still find this sim pretty. I didn't think she was less attractive because I took away her snatched waist and I made her look boxier. So I kind of was happy about it. I was like smiling after and I was like, oh wait, like maybe it's not so bad. And then I went live the next day with her and a bunch of new people came in and everyone was like, not everyone, it was a few people. People were just kind of like making fun of how she was built like oh i don't even, i don't really want to repeat what was said but um yeah people were being kind of harmful being kind of mean and it hurt my feelings because i was like oh she's definitely built like me so thanks <laughs> this is literally how my body looks and you're in here saying like this and that it's kind of hurtful and it really hurt my feelings. I actually wanted to get off of stream and start crying, but I didn't. I held it together and I think I just joked my way around it. Or I think I just ignored it actually and just tried to like move on. But that really hurt my feelings um, because she was built like me. She literally just looks like me. So that wasn't nice to hear how people, what people think was kind of what I already thought people thought about my build. So just kind of reconfirmed thoughts I had I guess but I think that I'm beautiful and I think that I have a beautiful body and I think that I just have to learn to accept what I have and love what I have because there is nothing wrong with my shape because I looked at her and I thought she was beautiful I thought my sim was really pretty so I can't really think that this body shape is so bad after all right so We'll see, won't we? Sorry. We'll see, won't we? I don't know how I ended up drawing more. Is that how I view myself? It's maybe not good. No, this isn't a bad drawing. I'm working on that too, just remotely thinking everything is negative. This, this isn't the greatest, I can't draw, but I also didn't draw it bad. So there was no reason to say that. That was like unnecessarily negative. I wish I could draw, I really like to draw, but I can't. That was my third My dad can draw, my dad is really artistic. My mom says all the time that that's where I get it from. It's from my dad. Um, not with drawing, but like every other, other, other form of being artistic. Like how I write, I think. And I think my mom really likes how I how I, the stories I used to write. I actually don't know if I've read them to her, but I think she just means the other ways that I'm creative and talented and artistic, not with drawing. I can never draw. But anyway, so yeah, I think I have a beautiful body and I think I just have to work on loving it because my sim did not get any less attractive when I took her, her curvy hips away. So she was still beautiful to me. So I think that only means that I still find myself beautiful. But that was not what I wanted to talk about today. But hey, I guess that is what we talked about today. Um, mm. Journal time. Should I start? A, no, I'll, I'll keep this page. It, it's relevant. Okay, get your journal. You should have your journal already. I, I Oh my gosh. I didn't want to edit this, but I'm going to have to blur that. Was, was this entry bad? No, this is sad. 
I'm not letting y'all see that. I'm just gonna cut that out. That's my thyroid. If you ever have a noise like that, it's your thyroid. Um, I'm gonna cut that out because I showed my journal entry on accident. I didn't realize you could see the back, but okay, get your journal and let's do this, okay? Wait, let me get comfy. Okay, let me use my iPad as a, as a thing. My entry's good today. That did happen today with the body thing, but I still had a good day. Um, it didn't affect me like it would've maybe a few months ago. So we'll see. We'll see, I'm chilling, I'm doing good. I, I think it's a good entry today. Today was fun. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. I wanna try to edit, I wanna try to not edit these videos. I'm proud of my entry today. I'm proud of today. Okay. We done do good. We done good, kids. We done good. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that I had such a positive entry since I had the weird body shaming thing earlier, but it didn't really get to me that much now that I've kind of talked about it and I've kind of written it out. I don't think it got to me like I thought it did. Hmm. That's good, that's progress. I'm proud of myself. If no one told you they're proud of you recently, I'm proud of you and I love you and you're appreciated and you're important and you're important to, to the people around you. You're important to the people that don't even know you yet because you're just an important person and everyone loves you and you're perfect and I love you, bye.